Welcome to the Mark Brutalier Show, where we show Johns and sometimes drip. Drip or drown, baby! Drip. Hey everybody, my name is Mark. Mark Brutalier, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be doing something that I have been saying I was going to do for a minute now. I'm going to be rating you guys' outfits. A few weeks ago, I had told everybody to submit an outfit photo to our Discord. I have selected a handful of them, around 20-ish, and today I will be rating them. That's pretty much it, so before I get into the video, quick disclaimer, these are all just my opinions. If you're butthurt about it, then I am sorry. Don't take them too seriously, because as I said, it's just an opinion. I'm just a random, uh guy on the internet. If you're new here, hi, welcome, subscribe, like this video if you enjoy this type of content, leave a comment what your favorite outfit was, what your least favorite outfit was, roast everybody. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to get into the video. First outfit, we have this man right here staring right at the ground. He's got his mask on, good for you, young man. He's got a houndstooth sweater on. He's got some Levi's, just the classic, classic blue levies. Looks like maybe a 505 or something. He's got some docks, and then he's got a little key. Um, not gonna lie, it's a pretty pretty basic fit. It's kind of cool that it's like snowing outside or whatever. Pretty whatever location. It looks a little bit like I uh, had this outfit like laid out the night before. It's just not like super special. Um, not to say it's like a bad outfit, but it's not really personally my thing. Different color sweater for sure. I would almost like get a jean that's like a little bit higher rise potentially and like kind of like tuck something. Um, at this point, I feel like I'm changing your outfit way too much from what it already is. So I'm just gonna give you a five. Um, not the worst thing ever, but definitely not like fit pick worthy in my opinion. This next one, uh, beautiful, all green fit, looking absolutely fly as hell. He's got the green Blackberry case, green tie, green shirt, green sunglasses, green hat. Um, this man is a human highlighter, is absolutely killing the game, so I'm going to just move on from that one. Um, we can both agree, me and you watching this, that that fit is a 10. I like this location, there's like this like car mural behind him. Cool car mural. It kind of matches up with his little grease tee that he's got on. He's got a bandana around the neck, it's pretty well accessorized. Um, it's definitely like a super basic fit. I definitely don't think it's like anything crazy, but it is nice that he went that extra mile with the bandana, with the sunglasses, with the beanie. With that being said, not to be like hypercritical, it's a little matchy-matchy, but also like the shoes are just very contrasty from the rest of the fit. I don't think it's bad, I just think it's really, really basic. So I'd probably give it like a six and a half, which doesn't mean that it's bad, um, just pretty basic. All right, next up, we have this man straight chilling next to this tower of boxes. He's got black t-shirts, um, with what I believe is like a coca-cola tea or something black pants stocks and a gray blazer Can't lie. I feel like that blazer just looks like it just doesn't belong at all The blazer just looks super out of place kind of looks like you were like about to roll out in your fit And you're like, I don't know. It's a little cold or something um, But you weren't at your your house You were at like your your grandparents crib or something and then you just went to your grandpa's closet and you found a a quick blazer to throw on or something. I feel like if you just lost the blazer, it wouldn't be like a crazy fit, but it would at least be like a little more cohesive. Lose the blazer and it's like a six, but with the blazer I'd probably say it's like a four. This is just like some weird like self-timer, like army man fit. Really odd location, really odd photo. Like everything about this photo is just like really strange, I can't lie. It looks like you accidentally took a photo of like someone you didn't even know or something. You, like you propped your phone up and it like fell over and just happened to take a photo of somebody else. It's just really strange. This whole photo is really strange. The hand placement strange. Like there's the one hand in the leash and the other hand's like struggling to reach the pocket, like looking for it. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on this one to be honest. I'm just gonna, yeah. All right, next outfit. Uh, we have this gentleman here, this explorer, explore page looking pose, um, fixing the jacket. But I feel like when you look into this outfit like too deep, which I guess is what this whole episode here is about, it's just like kind of weird. So we have the cross chain, that's whatever the the jacket. Um, the jacket's the jacket's unique. It's cool. I like the bandana. You know, it's it's cool that it's accessorized. But then he has like these like State Farm looking khakis on. The shoes are kind of whatever. He's got the cream laces in there. Like something about it is just like 
throwing me off. I'm gonna give it a six. Yeah, I'm just gonna give it a six. So we're gonna move on and that's gonna be that. All right, this next one, interesting pants. Um, I don't know if I love them or hate them. It's like cool art on them. I just feel like the actual like fit of them is weird. They definitely could have been styled better. I appreciate the bandana. Like I feel like the bandana and the pants kind of go. Those red Nikes, not my favorite. Um, I feel like they just kind of like clash. They look really strange with those pants. And I feel like the jacket does too. It's like a statement piece that's surrounded by like not the best. I feel like there's potential. Like I feel like you're experimenting here and that's cool i feel like that's gonna lead you to something greater in the long term but this fit's just not it for me for this particular fit i just feel like everything's kind of jumbled together so i'm gonna give it a four moving on we have this gentleman right here he's staring me deep into my soul right now he's got on some plaid pants um, i like the top half actually like the top half like the the jacket's pretty crisp like it's just very good up top i feel like the pants like pattern wise they're chill feel like they could have been like something else because it looks like they're like a yellowish color and then the boots are gray i don't know for me i would have kind of kept to like a gray scale if i was gonna wear those boots or else i would have done something different on foot i don't hate it i do feel a little intimidated by this photo <laughs> he's eyeing me like i feel like he wants to kill me i'm gonna give it a six 6.5 all right next up she's just straight chilling in her kitchen um, she definitely comes from a family that cares very very much about their children just based off of all these uh, magnets and Christmas cards on the on the fridge it's a nice kitchen what is this, is this like a coffee maker in the back it's a cool looking coffee maker a little bit of mess on the on the cutting board could have cleaned that would have made the fit a little bit more crisp will you please just rate the fit as for the fit it's pretty simple puffer jacket straight leg pants um some like purplish looking shoes not my favorite not the worst um silhouette's fine like the sole on them i feel like just doesn't really fit the kind of techie vibe and then the tote i feel like it's just kind of like a last minute addition that doesn't necessarily go with the fit but it could have just been like i don't know to get groceries or something i'd give it a five next up we have this beautiful photo right here I don't know, maybe you're at like a golf course, maybe you're at like some sort of, I don't know. This is a really beautiful scenery. Um, I like the fit, very, very hiker core, very gorpy. Anyways, we have this TNF puffer, mixing the North Face and Arcturix, bold move. And then we have what looks to be like some Kiko Asics or something. I like the fit, everything goes together pretty well. Uh, probably one of my favorite ones that I've seen in this thing so far. It's definitely basic, but I feel like just the photo in general is kind of like elevated just cause like, you know, you're not just chilling in the kitchen or like in a random room. You're, you're in like a full landscape. I'm gonna give you an eight because it's a cool photo. Anyways, moving on. We have this man right here chilling in front of this PT Cruiser. Ezra, congratulations, buddy. You won. We really like you around here, around the Mark Boudelier house. Get the f off of me. Happy birthday, buddy. Vintage Purdue Summer Camp TV winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Very nice. I like the patchwork pants. They do look like they're like a size or two too big. Um, and they're clearly belted. You can kind of see how they're like buckling at the front. That's just like a pet peeve of mine. I hate when my pants are like that. Just get them altered. Um, I like the top half. Very relaxed. Like it's nothing like crazy, um, but it's just like neutral all the way down. Everything fits pretty well beside those pants. I'd give it like a six and a half. I feel like if the pants didn't have that going on, it would be, it'd be a little bit better. Next up, uh, we have this fit right here the full cream fit very creamy outfit um got this this is a cool crew neck or sweater or whatever um the pants are cool too i don't like the shoes with it as much i just feel like the 3m is kind of like a weird vibe i always associate 3m with like very techie looking outfits like full black looks or just like very like gore Texy. so i feel like with the cream vibe i would have gone with something different maybe like a loafer or something or just like a black boot other than that it's pretty solid i'd probably give it like a six and a half but if you change the shoes i could easily see it being like a seven and a half eight next up we have this man right here gene my boy absolute heater got the moon boots on he's got the lv pants the puffer the mall chain it's going crazy yeah next up we have this guy right here he looks like he's about like six eight a collection of cheez it's on his uh roof like he literally has his pants and then his cheez it's in what looks like a ginormous thing of garlic powder or maybe protein powder. It's probably protein powder. He looks like he would kick some ass. All black fit. I like the sweater or sweatshirt. Um, he looks like he's in like a dorm room or something. But uh, yeah, I'd give it like a solid seven. Not, not bad, my guy. But anyways, that is all the photos that we have time for today. I hope you guys aren't too upset. 
about these ratings. If you disagree with me, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the outfits. If you think one should have been a 10, if you think all of them were zeros, totally up to you. Let us know. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll probably do another one of these sometime in the near future. Bye. Elise Shane. Yeah, Elise Shane. <laughs> what is your problem? Dude, it's just some of these, these fits are just... Ugh, okay.